this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. Let's turn up the battle speed a little bit to help Leonora out. Oh, she's still going to, uh, not do so well, but, on the speed, but, well, you take what you can get. Every little bit helps. But, anyway, we've got to get to the roof of the Tower of Trials to get her her new job. Kind of odd that they would send someone like Palum to do that for them, but whatever works. Let's defend there. You know, I probably don't need to use Fira on them, but I've got so much MP it doesn't really matter. Well, whatever works. I don't think Leonora could even kill them with her fire spell. Well, let's... Oh, yeah, pretty much. How convenient! No, tomorrow, Egghead! Now! Go ahead! Put your black magic to use. Not on me, on these guys. Okay, so we want to use fire on them. Over and over and over again. Yeah, your speed's not going to be helping you that much, but, well, unfortunately, put it in the cursor to the keep command or memory will help us out. Whee! There we go. Nice dance there. Impressive. Or passable. Yeah, pretty much. You have to kill things. Yeah, if you're a jerk like me, you can use black magic. But if you're a nice person, you get to use white magic. No, she's training to become an Ipopt. But she is learning black and white magic. She's kind of a sage. Not that much better than Tala, though. Well, I suppose she could be, but it depends. Sounds like a plan. Ice! Now you're catching on. Cold as ice. Well, you've already got half of that down. <laughs> oh, Palo. So cold. So very, very cold. Well, let's use... Blizzard on the Blizzard Dow. I don't see a Blizzard Dow around here. <laughs> Let's try that one again. I really wish I could fast forward to these battles. Not that they're tedious or anything, just that I just wish I could fast forward. I mean, I can't, I'm pressing the select button and it won't do anything. All right, there we go. So far, so good. <laughs> well, you're learning, Palum. Okay, so we got bombs. Uh, let's use Blizzara on them. You can use anything you want. Leonora, Leonora, still going to be defending for a while, man. We will solve that problem in the very near future, I assure you. You could head up if you wanted to. I think there's a healing pot up there, if I recall correctly. But I'm not really interested. So we'll just go this way for now. Ooh, holy arrows. Finally, Leonora can actually do something useful for a change. Now, arrows work very differently. You are right-handed, right? Okay, good. Yeah, arrows work very differently the way from the way they did in uh, the original Final Fantasy IV. Uh, as you notice, we only have one of them. And it's basically like the DS version of Final Fantasy IV, where you don't need to stock up on 50 of them in order for it to actually do something useful. So you have one, that's good enough. You don't, 
you don't need to buy any more of them. Uh, the other thing, there's a couple other things, too. Uh, the big thing is that it's... Uh, the accuracy of arrows has been greatly increased. Uh, let's take a look at that for Leonora there. Yeah, you see, it's got 77% accuracy. In the original, it was like 30 or 40% base accuracy. It was ridiculously low. You basically could not use arrows very effectively unless you had uh, Rosa using the aim command on them, and that was pretty much it. That was the only way you could really make them useful. The other thing with arrows compared to the original is that, yeah, you see how little damage that dealt? The thing is, is that, like, Holy Arrows dealt quadruple damage to undead enemies in the original Final Fantasy IV. However, they pretty much removed that from the after years. It's more like double damage than quadruple, so not nearly as good or abusive as it was before. So, oh well. The arrows are still good in the preliminary tales, but as far as, like, endgame stuff goes, uh, not really that useful because you don't have the quadruple multipliers. The damage output just does not compare to... Oh! You actually survived? Uh-oh. Okay, come on, come on, hurry up. Attack! Oh! Uh, attack! Thank you. There we go. Stop trying to shove a lightning bolt up her ass. That's my job. That's the next spell we gotta teach her. Okay, let's... Well, I don't know if we really need to worry about healing up, but might as well. What happened to the guardian on the last floor? <laughs> oh, I love you, pal. Okay, well... Let's get Blizzard on them. There we go. Kind of reminds me of a Blizzard spell from another game, but I can't remember what it was. Like one of the other Final Fantasy games. Oh, it kind of looks like uh, Diamond Missile from the Second and Setsu games. Okay, there we go. I was almost about to say more party members, but uh, now that wouldn't be right. All right, there we go. Woohoo! Well, she did kill them all. Man, Palom, you're real drill sergeants. What? What's going on? Hmm. Yeah, I suppose not. Well, you gotta get through here somehow. Well, someone has to defend the crystal. You're not going to tell us why you want to learn black magic, are you? So yeah, um, as you noticed, I had the, uh, what is it, what was that, the crossbow from before? That I bought earlier, or whatever that bow was. That's why I bought it earlier, because we have the, uh, the holy arrow. So let's learn the last one. Thunder! Or, wait a minute, not thunder. Hold on. Thunder? Sorry, I got, got too excited and... Oh, I forgot to cast Blizzard on Palom. Um... Okay, I don't know what that means. Does he say anything different? Or does he just say, hey, watch your aim again? Okay, yeah, he just says the same thing. Oh, well. Take out the Thunder Dial there. Yeah, he's got better magic defense than the other ones. Fortunately, most of the enemies don't stay the same. Or, they do stay the same. So, her Holy Arrows will still be pretty useful. Too bad we don't get any strength boosting equipment. I don't think we do in this tale. Yeah, you're speaking from experience, I see there, Palum. <laughs> and we got a healing staff there that I'll hold on to. I wouldn't sell it. Could be useful every now and then. You never know. Whoa, three of these guys. Um, 
Let's see how Break works on them. I don't think Fire or Blizzara would work too well on them. Not. Um, go! Okay. Somehow I thought Break would work really well on them. I guess maybe Palom doesn't have the uh, multipliers going for him yet. But anyway. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Go, 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 go! Yeah! There we go. So much for using Break. It is very useful, just not right now, apparently. Oh, well. But uh, now with these guys, remember the spirits absorb fire. So let's try, let's try taking one of them out if I can. They are still weak to holy, even though I don't have the quadruple damage multiplier. It's just double damage now with the element. So, I don't know. I think I like having the quadruple damage multiplier. I don't think it was that abusive. I mean, you still weren't keeping up with the melee fighters on damage, but it made them remotely useful. I mean, when you're only dealing, like, I don't know, 500,000 damage endgame with arrows, and your melee fighters are dealing like three or 4,000, it's like, it's not gonna do that much. So you gotta be able to keep up a little bit. No Guardian on this floor? Yeah, we're kinda going back and forth between the fourth and fifth floors there, so. Now obviously the soul enemy has more HP than the other ones. Why? Because it has different colors, that's why. That's how you know that enemy is more powerful than the rest of them. Just like when you're fighting bosses. When you hear the music change, that means they've gotten stronger. As absolutely. As usual. Did I? Uh, for a second there I thought I hit the wrong button. Well, at least we can get through these battles quickly enough that I don't... Have to edit them out! Game? It does take them a while to get through all of their spells. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, the blood bats. Or any bats, for that matter, who have that irritating draining attack. But we're not going to run into any of those here. <laughs> I hope not. Okay, that, or, well, okay, we can kill these guys quickly now, but I was going to say, I was this close to the stairs, I'm just going to screw it and run, but, now well, there we go. Wow, these guys give a lot of experience. It's amazing how much more experience the enemies give. I mean, they're the same experience, but you only have two party members. We got 16 spirit there, you put the sage's miter, now we got 21 there, so plus 5, that's not bad. I really wish it weren't a waxing moon. I can't even kill those blood bones with my Fira spell anymore. Well, I think it's pretty much straightforward, straight shot to the end now. Take him down, Leonora. Shove a lightning bolt up his ass. You don't have much of an ego. Well, at least Town's kind of easing up on her. Sort of? Well, anyway. Let's go with Thunder. There we go. Oh. I guess the Thunder guys just have more defense, or magic defense, than the other ones. Whee! I'm trying to think of something to say instead of more party members. More spell members? Eh, it just doesn't have that right ring to it. Don't let your ego get the best of you. Just don't take forever learning all the other black magic spells, Leonora. <laughs> uh, so now she'll start learning black magic as she levels up, but she takes forever to learn it. So, she has black magic, but you're probably not going to use it that much. She's still mostly going to be useful as a uh, white mage, really. But she's an epoch. Of course she's going to be useful as a white mage. Her black magic will have some use, though. So, if 
But anyway, you step on these switches, they open these little secret passages around here. If you step on the upper left one, it closes all of them. The other two lead to other passages. So, what's on here? Oh, I, I hope we, uh, I hope I'm okay here. Oh. <laughs> well, I suppose it makes about as much sense as giving a rat tail. Hmm. Oh, someone's finally standing up to jerk. Oh, you weren't born there? Huh. What do you mean by that? Oh, you must be deeply inflict afflicted with the Bailey curse, huh? Yeah, you forgot all those spells that you learned from the first game. Yeah. Yeah, we, we ought to get moving then. But first, let's raid all their treasure that they left up here. Ooh, nice. Well, if you see that crack in the wall, there's a secret passage. That's how you get to the northwest one. Yeah, you think it's the northwest switch, but it's not. You got the Surge of Sur Surplice there. She has 23 spirit. You equip that on her. She has 28, so it gives her plus 5 spirit. Nice. That's really mostly what I'm going to use her for anyway. Okay, I think that's everything we can do here. Can we just warp out of here? No. No. No! Okay, yeah, we're going to have to walk all the way out of here, but... Will the Epops finally accept Leonora as one of them? Why did she want to learn black magic? Is there something else mysterious afoot? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.